Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, last time uh, we entered Hooktail's castle and made our way a bit through it, um, and then the game crashed and I had to do the a second half of it again basically, um, and I got really confused because I lost track of where I was at. <laughs> uh, now we are going to basically finish Hooktail's castle. So um, you might remember from the last video we used this platform here to reach this badge over here. Uh, that badge is going to come in handy. Uh, at some point. We don't have, really have enough badge points to equip a lot of stuff yet. Oh, we can equip it. Last stand P. Drop the damage your ally takes by one half when in danger. The P means partner. Um, mo a lot of badges in this game have P and non-P versions. Uh, so that they affect Mario or affect the partner. Uh, we, we do want last stand regular, the one that works on Mario, but we won't be getting that just yet. Uh, what are my stats like? Uh, I think that's worth it. Okay, uh, we have to uh, retrace our steps a little bit here. No big deal, it's just because we had to drop down to get that badge. I think there's a way to avoid that, but I didn't do it. <laughs> so we are going to have to do some retracing. Won't take long though. Just a couple rooms. There we go. And up. Da, 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 da. Uh, this room we just want to walk right through. Hopefully we won't get hit on the way because we don't really want to be hit by anything. Uh, then we stand over here. We tip, kick Coops away. Uh, we're missing a lot of tattling here and there because we have to have Coops out in order to use his ability. Uh, which I think is a bit of an advantage of Bug Fables over Paper Mario. Uh, the fact that tattling is a separate from the character's ability, so you don't ever need to switch to use it. Um, bit of a shame that, that this game doesn't work that way, but I guess I understand why. Because they had, you know, a character that does the tattling in the N in the N64 title and they wanted to keep it that way. Huh. Oh, maybe you can stand here and like... I'm not sure if there's any way to actually avoid falling down here. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way to, to get that without having to backtrack through the rooms we just did again. Um, anyway. So we climb up this way. Climb, climb, climb. Uh, we can get a third shine sprite. I'm not sure if I've mentioned yet how many you need to do things, but four of them is how many you need to rank up a partner. So we have three now. So we're getting close. Uh, then we go through here. With our castle key, there we go. Uh, okay, um... Okay, I didn't really want that to happen. Uh, that's not ideal. That's a pretty bad start. Um, let me see here. This is quite the layout. Um... Multibound sits all foes, so I can't skip the spiky one. Uh, which would be helpful if I could. I think I'll just jump on the front Koopa Trooper. Oops. I hit, missed the action command, but the point is they can't use the power block, uh, which is what I'm aiming for. Ah, dang it. I'm not sure I can block while Coops is knocked over. It looks like it just doesn't work that way. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of a multi-bounce. Get everyone down. There we go. Okay, then we can take out this guy. When we're getting closer to leveling, we might actually level. Probably not though. Yeah. Experience is a little uh, sparser in this game than it is in Bug Fables hard mode, so it's gonna take a bit longer than I'm expecting. Anyway, we cross the bridge here. 
Ooh. We get a cool little camera effect here as we go around this part. Up, 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 up. Good thing they put all these windows in so we could see where we were. <laughs> um. Oh, really? Again? Okay, um, we're gonna jump on this one. Then we're gonna do a power shell. That should wipe out. Yeah. Okay, do that, and then we can attack. Shell toss. I got this one. I mean, I got this one. Drop's done. <laughs> we are close to leveling again, which is nice. Uh, if you're thinking this is where the boss probably is, you would be correct. <laughs> yeah, we're about to take on the boss, so let's just heal ourselves up and hit the save block. There we go. And let's head on in. Oh, Daz, approach me. Mm, so, you were friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier? I didn't expect more to come and steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down, head first. Okay, so this fight is not too much of a hassle. Snack time, little appetizers, but which one of you morsels should I taste first? Because the thing about Hooktail, uh, is that we have their weakness already. Uh, which is of course, the sound that our attacks make. The, you know, froggy sound. Blech, that awful sound. It sounds like a frog. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Up, I got really bad. Ugh, food poisoning once when I ate a frog. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing a frog croak makes me feel woozy. Uh, we got Gumbella out because we want to tattle. In case you were wondering. <laughs> this is a boss and we haven't seen this enemy before. Oog, must not gag. My poor tummy. Urp, so very woozy. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. They'll stomp and munch on you and has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with fur and end with og. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? We did. Okay, um, we're gonna start power smashing. So we can do a bit more damage. And we're going to want to swap out uh, Gimbella now that we've tattled, because she can't do two damage in one hit, and uh, Hooktail has one defense, so we're going to need coops. Oh, 
Oops. Eh, I did one damage, no problem. As you can see, this fight's not very hard, especially if you have the right badge. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. Prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend. <laughs> what? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad. Yeah, as, as um, Gumbella mentioned when we're cattled, uh, Hooktail tries to trick you by offering you stuff, but it's not real. You, you will lose if you if you have the stuff. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize for letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really? So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? I think someone was into feet who made this game. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better. Yep, Hooktail ate a bunch of audience members. It's just not right. Oh ho ho ho, uh, now my strength has returned to me. I had enough of this. Let's finish this fast, Mario. We're now fighting in the audience. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna want to use a couple more power smashes. Lup, why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a ugh, frog? I'm not sure what happens if you actually roll the poison on the spinner. I assume something bad because it's poison, but I don't know what. But, but I... I... Gawk! Ow, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals! Oh, look at all that experience. Level up. What one to upgrade? Some more HP would be nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it it can't be. Huh? D Dad? Hey, your your coops. Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my final finishing blow, that conniving dragon played a trick on me. Before I knew what happened, I'd been gobbled down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck! I'm so glad to finally get out. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you'd... You know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? 
Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you look this wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? <gasps> What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect. Just perfect. You can have it. <gasps> Me? <laughs> Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please take it. You got a crystal star, and you learned the special move, Earth Tremor. End of chapter. <laughs> oh gosh. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Hoops uh, even reunited with his long lost father whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Table game progress up to this point? Yes, please. Saving. Do you want to touch the memory card in slot A or the power button? The progress was saved. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mario? Mari knows. Okay, this is supposed to be like inside the, the monitor. That's a widescreen glitch. <laughs> Looks a bit silly. Oh great exalted Grotus, we brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We ex are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Brodus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario? Excuse me, Mario. Oh no! Gak, 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 gak. I see. So you know of this, Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand, she is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the boggly woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I've forgotten what Lord Crump's voice was. It was ages ago. Wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. Exnort, I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang? Sir Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus, sir? <laughs> Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha. The Honourable Grotus has need of us? Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? 
fill your tongue, Beldam. We would have already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldam. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldam, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Gah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see more of the Shadow Sirens. Vivian is the best. We'll, we'll see. You'll see. She's just wonderful. Oh dear, here we go again. Can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth will be worried sick. Again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. Wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Okay, just like in the first Paper Mario, uh, between chapters you get to play as Princess Peach for a little while. Uh, it's pretty cool. Not a whole lot you can do as Princess Peach, you can't jump, you can't get into the menus or anything. Uh, you can just basically wander around. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd, the doors open by themselves. I'm not sure if you're actually required to do this, but what you I think what you're supposed to do is go into this bathroom here. What a lovely shower! No soap scum even! Wow, I wonder if it works. I think what you're supposed to do here is give Princess Peach a shower. Um, the room fills up with steam. Sings a little song, and it's pretty adorable. Ah, hee <laughs> hee! And she gets the towel. Gets the towel. She gets the towel. <laughs> I'll go wait till all the steam disappears. That's definitely how showers work. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Look at that haircut. That's super adorable. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's optional because the door opened without me doing that. But that's what you're intended to do. You're meant to go have a ha have a go have a quick shower and then go to the other room. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. This one. Doesn't work. Okay, I can't get in there yet. I believe we'll go there in a separate uh, chapter intermission. Uh, but in this one, we don't get to go there. We just go here. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. The Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus. Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brained circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processes. These events are new to me. 
There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're... in love? Okay, so... Yeah, the canonical thing that's supposed to be happening here is that Tech has fallen in love with Princess Peach after seeing her take a shower. That's pretty gross. So what we're gonna say instead is that Tech has a case of the genders after seeing a girl for the first time. Because I think that makes more sense. And, as we'll see as we progress, it fits with everything that Tech does. Trust me. With me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Or if you like, gender? What is gender? I cannot compute this. <laughs> Wait, you don't know what gender is? <laughs> gender, how do I explain? Uh, gender tells you when you want to be a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just making shit up. <laughs> when you love someone, you will do anything to help when they are in trouble. Happiness. Fun? I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend, love? Gen gender's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. <laughs> Princess Peach. Will you teach me to feel this thing you call gender? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about gender? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called gender. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What, are you insane? You extras kidnapped me like common coopers. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of gender? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh, why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? She's an impressively fast typist, considering she lives in the Mushroom Kingdom, which doesn't theoretically have a lot of computers. <laughs> the message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something.
Uh, okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. So yeah, we're just gonna headcanon this this uh, character a little bit because that's how I roll. <laughs> Tech is trans and has discovered what being a girl is. Good for her. Save all game progress up to this point. Yes. Saving. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Your progress was saved. We see a bunch of little peaches. And then we see Bowsette's castle. So this is a new feature in this game. In the first one you only got Peach into missions. In this one you get a Peach into mission and then you get a Bowsette into mission. So this is this, this is that into mission happening now. Stump, 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 stump. <laughs> Bowser the mighty Koopa King has arrived. But should I change it? Bowser, the mighty Koopa Queen has arrived. <laughs> Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? I'm, I'm gonna do that, that sounds like fun. Uh, Great Lady Bows Bowser, the uh, crusty hag, Cammy Koopa, will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. I guess she can be a lord if she wants. So yeah, we are now playing as Bowsette. Hello! Greetings, your huffiness. The hag, Kami Koopa, will be arriving at any moment. Please, your ghastliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Uh, we still can't jump, but we can breathe fire if we so desire by holding the B button. Uh, we can't pause or anything, we're still in intermission mode. So the other day I saw, I saw Lord Bowsette gazing lonely at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Ooh, I tell you, the look on her face when she was mooning over that thing. Huh? Yuck! L lord Bowsette! You can be a lord. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna gender this whole game a whole lot. I hope that's cool. <laughs> can I look out the window? What's going on here? Something I can interact with. Ah, man, I'm attractive. Every time I look at this, I'm overwhelmed by its coolness. When I take over the world, I'm gonna stick these statues all over the place. Yeah! <laughs> oh, girl, that's gay. Lord Bowsette, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I ordered you some sit-ups, tubby. <laughs> Hail, Lord Bowsett. Is that all you have to say? Lord Bowsett, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Alright. Also, yes, you walk very slowly. There's Cammy. Ah, Lord Bowsett. <sighs> I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kemi Cooper. Now, yeah, out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! Hmm, yes. Very good. Then you're researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowsette, do you like fried eggs? Uh... I bet I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. 
I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bazette. Ahead. <laughs> a picnic? You moron, this is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Arg. Oh dear, Lord Bazette, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? Well, what's that? Humble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. A what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing? Besides me. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have the information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. But one thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back. Let's go, Koopa Clanka. But your grunginess, wait up. You can see a bit of a glitch because of the widescreen there in the corner. <laughs> This also is supposed to look a bit different without the widescreen effect. Kind of makes the cutscenes look a bit strange here and there. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. Saving. Progress was saved. Then we get all the little Bowsette faces. And that means... We're back to Mario. <laughs> Coops, my lad. You're telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue travelling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops. And I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical maps will unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the stars shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly! Come on, let's go! And that's it for this video. Uh, let me just find the save point. Uh, first up though, we can get in here now, so let's grab that. Mega Rush P. Increase attack power by 5 when your partner is in peril. The peril is 1 HP, so... The Mega Rush badges are very risky, but attack power of 5 is extremely good in this game. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Uh, risk versus reward kind of thing. But yeah, Mega Rush based strategies can be very, very effective. Uh, let me just find the save point, I think it's over here. There it is. Save all game progress. Saving. Saved. And thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed. Um, this one ran a bit long because we had to do all the intermission stuff. I could probably have cut it off in between the intermissions because there's an auto save, but eh, I think I'm happier just getting them all into one video like this. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope my uh, avant-garde interpretation of both of the intermissions there uh, wasn't too out there. I hope you enjoyed what I did with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, next time... Uh, we're going to head back to the map and we're going to find out where Chapter 2 starts. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!